um i have a video of myself at like 2 a.m where i was just just a just a tiny tiny bit upset <laughs> <laughs> May have been a little bit dramatic. It's 2.30 a.m. Yes, I'm wearing a green shirt, okay? I ran out of clothes that are comfortable to sleep in. And I guess it kind of shows you how, um, how I've completely lost my sense of self. You know that one video of the mouse that's eating those M&Ms, like, really sadly? and all by himself. I am that mouse. And every time I see someone post about that video and they write something like college be like, there's hundreds of thousands of likes. Are you all okay? So remember when I posted that video where I was telling people that I finally was starting college? Yeah, I had people in my comments that were telling me stuff like, Oh, don't get too excited. Oh, you're excited to start college? <laughs> You don't want to regret that one. And I was reading all those comments and I was like, oh, what a shame that these people have had terrible experiences. But me personally, I bet that I'm gonna have that nice little your name, movie, manhua kind of life where I'm free as a bird and I'll meet my first love and I'll excel academically. I've only managed to do one of that. And that is excel academically. Yes, I'm going to flex that. <laughs> I won't say that it's been absolutely horrendous. <laughs> so yes, I was a little bit sad. It's not the worst years, but it definitely is not the best years. That's the point I'm trying to make here. I feel like my best years were, were, were when I was born and I couldn't remember anything. I probably had the time of my life then, no stress, no worries. I peaked in primary school i was i was thriving in primary school that's real that's really depressing so i thought we'd do another like day in my life of college and i'm gonna talk to you about like the whole college student life so the next day at 9 a.m i got dressed up for the day in this shirt you may question my fashion sense however this is peak humor i've developed from pinterest guy into funny graphic t-shirts now also, which one should I get? This one or this one? Because this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I also brought a jacket with me because for some reason certain lecturers like the class to feel like glaciers while others don't have a functioning aircon. The only class today was maths, and although I am physically in the classroom, mentally I was in hell because that was more entertaining. Don't any of you come into my comments like, Oh, that's so easy, I learned that in high school. Yeah, it's pretty simple. But I'm stupid, okay? Identify the location. Now tell me between this cop A and this cop B. Which one is extreme? <laughs> she let us out 30 minutes early today, so I went with my friend to get lunch from a convenience store nearby. That's also a pretty interesting new experience, being in college. I've never tried to buy and eat inside the store before using the provided hot water and cutlery, but now I tend to do this often in between my classes. What a nice melody. <laughs> Afterwards, my friend left to eat in her car while her mom drove her back. <laughs> Imagine having your parents drive you back. <laughs> it would be me, an independent young man. Okay, there's no one here, just me and this suspicious looking CCTV. So today I only had one class, two hours long. But it's not that bad. Tomorrow my class is from like 10 to 5, which is my longest day, I think. Oh, we're here. That sign does absolutely nothing. I've had an experience where I, I was staying up until like midnight I think or 1am and I had to go get some water. And when I came out, I had one of my housemates there getting water and then her door was open and I saw her boyfriend I think trying to hide his 6 feet tall stature behind a very small wall. You know like those cartoons with like the characters hiding around poles. Yeah, that's what he would look like. You can bring boys over. 
it's fine. I'm okay with it. But if I hear anything suspicious late at night, so much as a creak of the bedboard, I will kill myself in front of you two to forever change the trajectory of your lives. So don't do that for the both of us. I should consider myself lucky because I know there's some people whose courses require them to do from like 6 a.m. to freaking 9 p.m. To which I say two things. First of all, funny number. Second of all, uh, what the hell are you studying for? To become Batman? I've been eating these noodles for like a few days in a row now because it's so good. You want to know benefit of the really ugly big rock I had stuck on my nail? It functions as a really good cup noodle opener. Also, guess what? I was mopping yesterday and this thing just chipped off. It just chipped off. This 200 ringgit and it chipped off in two weeks. I was going to choose kindness and just let it go, you know. But then I realized that no, I will not choose kindness. I wrote the first bad review I've ever written for anything online. And I was, I was kicking my feet when writing that. I was twirling my hair. I was so nervous and excited. My god, is this what it's like to have an opinion? And then I hit the send button, didn't think about it. Went to class feeling like the bad bitch I am. Okay, I stopped recording because I, I, I began beefing <laughs> with a nail salon. So imagine the absolute horror that went through my bones when they texted me on my phone number, which I did not give. How did they find my phone number? Hello dear, this is nail salon name, heart emoji. You came here to do your nails two weeks ago, heart emoji. Sorry for the inconvenience, heart emoji. Are you free to come back and fix your nails, heart emoji, praying emoji? So when they sent that, obviously I was assuming they were going to fix it for free, but just in case, I decided to ask out of courtesy. Hello, thank you for reaching out. I am free today after 2 p.m. But may I know how long it will take? And will I be charged to fix? You know, fully expecting them to tell me that they would do it for free. We are charging you, dear heart emoji. Maybe tomorrow, dear heart emoji. Tomorrow, 4 p.m. Catch heart emoji. <laughs> Admittedly, I did go off a little bit. Dear, that is not called fixing. No thanks. I already spent 200 ringgit to do my nails only for them to chip after two weeks because of poor quality. I should not have to spend to fix this mistake this salon made. Have a good week, heart emoji. My mom was coaching me how to be as passive aggressive as possible. Uh, turns out they made a typo. <laughs> and I just love the, the absolute panic you can see here when they realize they made the mistake. Sorry, Sorry type wrongly. 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 Will not, Will not be, be charged. charged. It's, it's free, dear. Sorry, Sorry for, for the, the typo. typo. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, it's settled now. the afternoon but now I'm going to nap because I have a lot of assignments to do and for some reason I can only be productive when it's really late at night so to combat that I will simply become nocturnal and sleep during the afternoon I have a three hour nap and then I sleep for five hours in the night altogether I still get eight hours to sleep a day it's genius it's foolproof tell me why that wouldn't work also, I can't be the only one with this problem, right? Like, I can't fall asleep if I lie on a pillow normally. This is the only way I can fall asleep. Like, with this over my head and my bolster to my right, so it looks like I'm being crushed. Yeah, that's the most comfortable position. I love feeling like I'm inside a coffin. A few moments later. Hi, voiceover Feline here. Uh, why do I sleep like a dead body? Why do I look like a carcass? Where is the beautiful Disney princess napping style? I look like I'm being suffocated. If you walked in, you would think this was a crime scene. Am I fighting demons right now? Two hours later. Oh, sweet Jesus. So as you can see, we have a lovely sunset right now. <laughs> I wanted to film like a nice little sunset time lapse, but uh, unfortunately, I pissed Zeus off somehow. 
And now you guys are gonna just have to deal with what looks like this emoji. <gasps> A. Delectable. The weirdest thing is that I'm expecting the majority of college students to have like the same experience as mine. But I actually do see a lot of people partying and having fun in college. And they really do seem to be having their best years. Like I'm scrolling through my classmates' Instagram stories at 10 p.m. and they're just out there at a party having fun, makeup smeared, dresses on fire, and it makes me wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Personally, I don't enjoy parties anyways. I've never been to one, but I feel like I won't. But seeing stuff like that still makes me feel like I'm missing out on something that future me is going to regret. Do I want to try going to one of these parties one time? Yes, I would like the experience. But since I have this little thing known as paranoia and the fear of the choco that is danger and death, I probably won't be able to enjoy myself that much because I'm just gonna be running full of adrenaline the entire night. Not because of drugs. It would be fun if I was doing drugs. I'm just kidding. We don't, we don't support drugs on this channel, don't do drugs kids. So if I went to a party, I want to be back at 11pm by the latest. I will not drink any alcohol. I will not leave my drink out of my sight even once. I need to go with at least three friends. Which you know, where am I gonna find three friends? Two, two friends, okay? And it's gotta play Mitski. It has to play Mitski. I don't care how odd it is dancing like this to a party that's like I'm liquid smooth calm It has to play my girl Mitski Honestly this sounds more like I'd rather have a sleepover in that case Ah, oh, I see what the problem is now Don't get me wrong, I don't mind being an introvert most of the time But being in your room for like weeks on end Without any human being to hang out with outside of school Can be suffocating after a while Like if me me, the equivalent of a rat content with living in the sewers undisturbed, craves human interaction, then you know it's a big deal. Like, what's next? Andrew Tate being self-aware? My mom just sent me these videos of her putting on the Lunar New Year outfit for Abby, and she looks like absolutely terrified. <laughs> I miss her. The one thing I like most about college is the academic achievements I'm able to make. I have never cared about my academics this much before college because I love the thrill of achieving a good score. Like my university, they release our scores online and if you do pretty well, they put it in a darker green and if you do badly, they put it in the red and it's just kind of a gradient from there. And I love that dark green. I love seeing it. I feel like I just have nothing else to cling on to but my grades and boy, the Asian in me is very pleased. I think maybe it's cause in college you get to choose what subjects you want to do for like some parts and so far I'm really enjoying all the subjects I'm taking except for maths because that's a given. It's not even that difficult. I just don't see when I would ever use this in my life. 